Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lisa and I'm crazy about perfumes. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about my January perfume tray. January is a summer month here in Australia and here in Brisbane. It's been somewhat of a mild summer month, which I'm grateful for because we had some really hot days in December, so I'm quite pleased that it hasn't gotten too hot. We've been having maximum of high 20 degrees and low 30 degrees Celsius. The first perfume on my January tray is Peony and Blush Suede by Jo Malone. This was the last purchase of 2023 and it had been on my list for quite some time so I'm super thrilled that I was able to get my hands on it. Peony and Blush Suede is a floral fragrance with notes of red apple, peony, rose and a suede base note. I've worn this a few times already and I've noticed that it's longer lasting than Rose Blush, which is the other Jo Malone perfume that I have in my collection and somewhat surprising, but actually I'm quite pleased <laughs> that this one lasts a bit longer. Let's give it a spray. Mm, beautiful. Definitely a sweet floral fragrance and on me it's been developing into a warmer scent as the hours go by. I would consider this actually too heavy, a little bit too heavy to be worn in the super hot summer days like when it hits 35 I wouldn't be reaching for this one but for most of the range of temperature this is quite suitable and I've been enjoying wearing it. Next is Erin's Mediterranean Honeysuckle. This is the most recent purchase and the first purchase of 2024. I was at the Estee Lauder counter at David Jones and I had been curious about Rose de Grasse, the Rouge flanker and I was attracted to the beautiful red color of that bottle but ultimately I found that scent underwhelming and then I was like that I feel like buying a perfume <laughs> so I then tried the other Erin perfumes that were there and when I sniffed this one it immediately brought me to this hotel lobby with golden tones and bright sun and I couldn't name where I was, but it really had this feeling of being on holiday somewhere sunny. And so I thought, yes, I need to get this one. <laughs> and this is actually my first ever purchase from Erin. And look at this bottle. It's just stunning, beautiful. And this cap too. The perfumes seem to have different colors of cap. And I guess this blue kind of suits the name of the perfume because Mediterranean and Blue Sea, perhaps. Stunning bottle. Mediterranean Honeysuckle is a citrus white floral. It has notes of bergamot, honeysuckle, gardenia, and this one too, I've worn a few times and is gorgeous. I really love it. Let's give it a spray. Beautiful sprayer there. Oh, <laughs> and there's that citrus in the initial spray. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's stunning. Mm. And I like this detail here where the label is in this deeper section of the glass and I think that's a really great detail because it prevents 
skin contact when spraying so I use a lot of hand creams and I always worry that I'll transfer some oils onto a paper label but this detail here prevents that from happening very very clever very thoughtful design there and oh my gosh yes definitely a sunshiny fragrance fresh invigorating I'm enjoying it so much and finally I have my first Erin perfume what about you do you have any from Erin let me know in the comments next is La Impratrice by Dolce & Gabbana this is the 100ml or the toilet La Impratrice is described as a floral aquatic fragrance it has notes of kiwi, rhubarb, watermelon and I can definitely pick out those fruity notes when I'm wearing this fragrance and it's light so it's suitable for most days in the summer here particularly the milder days and it's got a lovely sweetness to it too let's give it a spray Ooh. i'm actually getting a lot of the fruitiness today those melon notes but coming through particularly strong beautiful fragrance and another one I'm super happy I got my hands on at the time that I bought it it wasn't too widely available and I'm not sure whether it's on the way to being discontinued next is the body shops glowing cherry blossom I usually purchase a body mist fragrance mist from the body shop every year and this was last year's purchase and I usually purchase it towards the summer it's a perfectly fine cherry blossom it reminds me of the previous cherry blossom that I had from the body shop and what I like about this version of their packaging is that they have the notes on the label Japanese cherry blossom, osmanthus and sandalwood let's give it a spray Oh, that's actually a really good sprayer. Fine mist. Beautiful. Mmm. Sweet, floral, light. Stunning. I haven't actually worn this too much, and that's because I tend to save the lightest fragrances in my collection for the super hot days. So it means that there haven't been too many super hot days that I haven't been wearing the body mist, the fragrance mist but I'm rather enjoying it so I'll be wearing it more <laughs> and the last on my January perfume tray is Elizabeth Arden's green tea cucumber this is one of the flankers of green tea Green tea appears to have quite a few flankers and I've decided that I want them all. This is a 100ml water toilet. And it's a cute bottle too with these slices of cucumber on it plus the leaf on the back. Green tea cucumber is described as a citrus aromatic fragrance with notes of cucumber, green tea watermelon i quite like the bitter hint with cucumber fragrances you know that aquatic that watery bitterness i think it is quite fresh and perfect for hot summer days let's give it a spray definitely quite fresh and I'm actually picking up a bit of a masculine note today not sure what that might be 
But yes, looking forward to wearing this one. And here they are all together, my January perfume tray. A mix of some sweet, some fresh, the green tea cucumber being a little bit bitter. And so far, January seems to be pretty mild. So I think these are perfect, gives me a bit of variety for when it gets, if it gets super hot, I'll be wearing fragrance mist just because they're lighter. I hope you've had an excellent start to 2024. If you made it this far, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you here. Welcome to all the new subscribers and thank you to everyone who has joined me on this channel since I started. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!